If you're loaded with luxury, your lifestyle can be all about lavish food, travel, and high-end brands. And when you're loaded with trillions, it goes beyond that. From private jets that cost a fortune and more, to luxury yachts that could put an entire country's GDP to shame, you have it all. That's what these Arab royals enjoy every single day. The things we can only dream of to do at least once in our lifetimes. In this video, we will explore the trillionaire life of Arab royals, who are also the richest people in the world. Let's see all that they do with all of that money. The House of Maktoum is the ruling royal family of the Emirate of Dubai, and one of the six ruling families of the United Arab Emirates. Currently, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the current ruler of Dubai, is the head of the House of Maktoum, and his son, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, aka Faza, is the Crown Prince of Dubai. The estimated net worth of the Al Maktoums is $19 billion. I wish there were that many zeros to the right of my bank balance too, never mind. So what do the Al Maktoum splurge this dream wealth on? Out of all the things the royals spend on, you probably weren't expecting this one. The Crown Prince of Dubai, Faza, spent a whopping $2.7 million to buy a camel. And not just any other camel. This one won a beauty contest, yes, the most beautiful camel out of the other 17,000 participants won the Crown Prince's heart. Spending millions is one of those things that love for animals can make you do, if you're that rich. And he doesn't just spend on pretty looking animals, but also has a yacht collection that one can only dream of. His super luxurious yacht, called Quattro L, is worth a jaw-dropping $180 million. It has a gym designed by the fitness champion Usain Bolt. The yacht has a personal spa, multiple pools, and a helipad. And that's not the only yacht the Crown Prince has. Faza owns many yachts. His Smeralda is worth $70 million. And Faza's dad, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who is the Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, owns the Dubai yacht, worth an eye-watering $400 million. The Al Maktoums love Boeing. We all love traveling in this super safe and comfortable aircraft, but the royal family of Dubai takes their love for the skies to another level. They bought 40 Boeing 787-10 Dreamliners at the Dubai Air Show for a bank-breaking $15.1 billion. While these planes were bought for the Middle East Airlines Emirates, which is owned by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the House of Maktoum also has multiple private jets. Well, money can't buy happiness, but it sure as hell can buy world-class comfort. Owning luxury cars can mean you're really rich, but owning gold-plated luxury cars is something that only Arab royals can do. Faza owns a Rolls Royce and a Lamborghini, plated with real gold. While the price is unknown, that gold-coated luxurious beauty must cost millions of dollars. Faza also owns the Lamborghini Banana Roadster. For the uninitiated, Lamborghini produced only nine of these, and out of the nine owners, Faza is one. All things luxury and all things exclusive define these Arab royals' lavish lifestyle. The Lumbo Banana Roadster is worth an astronomical $4.5 million. And that's not all. The royal and charming prince also owns the Aston Martin 177, worth $1.9 million. The Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse, worth $1.7 million. And many military tanks, worth $500,000 each. And that's just Faza. But what about his father? Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has a fleet of his own. I'm falling short of words for this exorbitant and exclusive garage of stunning road beasts, so take a look. If that fleet and those price tags don't drive you crazy, what will? Oh, wait. There are still more Arab royals and their lavish lifestyles to explore. You're about to witness some more jaw-dropping price tags ahead. Brace yourself. The beautiful Qatar is ruled by the rich and royal Altani family. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani is the current emir, who became the head of state of Qatar in 2013. The Al Thani family has an estimated net worth of an eye-watering $335 billion. What did they do with all this money? They sponsor sports clubs, buy the most expensive properties across the world. And of course, the luxury-laden supercars and superyachts. He founded the Oryx Qatar Sports Investments in 2005, which owns Paris Saint-Germain Football Club. And under his leadership, Qatar also secured the rights to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup. Besides all of this, what are the things the Royal Altani family likes to splurge on? The Altani family owns properties not only in Qatar, but all over the world. The family loves London, and they own the most properties in London, even more than the Royal family. 
Their property collection ranges from the historical Dudley House in London's Park Lane to the Harrods Store and shares in reputable companies and financial institutions. The family lives in a huge palace in Doha, but their special love for London led them to buy the Cornwall Terrace, which is a 30,000 square foot grand mansion that has 13 bedrooms, two elevators, a spa, a pool, a beauty salon, a gym, game rooms, a wine cellar, and a whole floor for children. Talk about having an entire world in your home. Who will ever want to step out of that one? How much did it cost, the Altani family? A few million dollars? Nope, it's a big fat 200 million dollars. The family also owns the Victory Park Olympic Village and 20% of London's Heathrow Airport. The Qatari royal family also made property investments of 210 million dollars in 2021 in the United States, India, Morocco, Malaysia, Panama, and Turkey. Getting back to their special love for London, there's an area of Mayfair in central London that goes by the name of Little Doha, which has multiple properties owned by the Altani family, their relatives, and associates. All in all, the Altani family owns a staggering $1 billion worth of property in London. That's an insane amount of money, but it's peanuts for you when you have $335 billion. It isn't just property they spend hundreds of millions on. The House of Altani owns a $400 million super yacht called Katara, a 7,922-ton yacht that has a helicopter deck, multiple gyms, a beauty salon, and several swimming pools. They take to the skies in their VIP airline, Katara Miri Flight, which is a 15-aircraft fleet with several Airbus and Boeing carriers, which total up to billions. And their rides aren't any less luxurious. Members of the Altani family have been spotted driving the $6 million Bugatti Devo in London several times. They also have been seen in the stunning Bugatti Chiron. They have a fleet of other expensive cars like the Bugatti Veyron Vitesse Rembrandt Legend, Lamborghini Centenario White Coupe, Bugatti Chiron Grey, LaFerrari Aperta, Lamborghini Centenario Roadster, and a McLaren P1. Their fleet is worth a bank-breaking $28 million. The Altani family sure does have a lot of money and a good taste, and they also spend their time appreciating and buying exclusive pieces of art. It is estimated that the Altani family has spent at least $1 billion on Western paintings and sculptures over the last 20 years. Don't be awestruck just yet because there's another Arab royal family that's going to blow your mind. Saudi Arabia's ruling royal family has an insane net worth of $1.4 trillion. That's 16 times more than that of the British royal family. All of that unbelievable amount of money comes from their vast oil reserves that were found 75 years ago and changed the country's fortune. The oil reserves made the House of Saud the richest family on the planet. That $1.4 trillion doesn't belong to one or two or even 10 family members, but it belongs to about 15,000 royal family members, all of whom live in lavish palaces. The family's enviable and exorbitant lifestyle is deemed as wastefully extravagant and pompous by many, but the royal family continues to spill their trillions on all things luxury. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, MBS, spends hundreds of millions on super yachts and private jets, and is also notorious for fueling wars in the Middle East. We already talked about super yachts and jets, but the royal family of Saudi Arabia takes it to a whole unbelievable level. They have gold-plated superyachts. They have several private jets and palaces, of course, but inside those palaces, they have furniture made of gold. In fact, the royal family even uses tissue paper plucked from gold-plated tissue dispensers. Never thought taking a dump could be such a shiny and royal experience. In 2017, the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman splurged a whopping $450.3 million for Leonardo da Vinci's 500-year-old painting called Salvatore Mundi. He also spent a staggering $300 million for the Chateau Louis XIV, located in France, which was called the world's most expensive home by Fortune magazine in 2017. The chateau has 10 bedrooms, two swimming pools, a nightclub, a wine cellar, and multiple luxurious amenities that one can only dream of. Mohammed bin Salman owns multiple luxury vehicles, although he claims that he isn't very fond of cars. He owns multiple BMWs, Land Cruisers, Bugattis, Lamborghinis, and Ferraris. But what he does like is his yachts. He has many of them. He bought Pegasus 8, his first yacht in 2008, which has a helipad, a driving range for golf, a theater, a barbecue, a dance floor, and bars. 
He purchased his second super luxury yacht, named Serene, for an eye-watering $689 million in 2015. Bill Gates had rented the yacht at one time. What did that cost him? $9 million for a week. This one has two helipads, a full saltwater pool, and seven decks. The Saudi Crown Prince Shurer has an envy-worthy luxurious life, minus the controversies and notoriety, of course. That's how the Arab royals spend their money. From super yachts and luxurious properties, to expensive cars and hobbies, they have it all. If you'd like to continue spending your time to see how the rich and famous spend their money, then view our channel for similar videos.